Good morning and welcome to Pharmacy House Australia. Today, I'll be going through an example question for Part C of the Pharmacy Oral Exam, which focuses on problem solving and communication skills. If you haven't already watched our video on everything you need to know about Part C of the exam we suggest you watch that first using the link in the description. Now let's dive into it. In Part C of the Pharmacy Oral Exam you will be given a prescription and may also be provided with the pharmacy's own patient dispensary medication history. This part of the exam is done in role play over a course of 20 minutes. Now, let's explore an example scenario. Imagine that you are a pharmacist working at a community pharmacy in Australia. A patient approaches the counter with a prescription, for amoxicillin 500 mg 1 tablet 3 times a day. You notice that this patient does not have a dispensing history at your pharmacy. What do you do? To find the issue, I would initiate a conversation with the patient to gather more information. I would start by introducing myself and creating a comfortable environment for open communication. Using clear and appropriate language, I would ask the patient about their medical history, including any pre-existing conditions, allergies, and all the medications they are currently taking. Here are some examples of open and closed-ended questions you may like to ask. I recommend you pause this video here and try and come up with a list of questions you might like to ask this patient. Upon questioning the patient you discover that this is their first time taking amoxicillin. They also tell you that when they were a child they had a serious reaction to penicillin. To have obtained this information from the patient you would have had to ask them about their allergies and the seriousness of their allergic reaction. If you forgot to ask these questions during your history taking you would have missed the problem. Now that you have the problem it's time to call the prescriber. Part C of the oral exam is open book so you can check any offline resources. For example if you did not know what class of medication amoxicillin came under or you wanted to check the appropriateness of the dose prescribed you could check your Australian medicines handbook under the antibiotics section. When calling the doctor have a recommendation ready to go so your communication is clear. For example. Hi, doctor. I'm Brian, the pharmacist from next door. Mr. Citizen has come in for his prescription for amoxicillin 500 mg. He informed me that he had a severe allergic reaction to penicillin in the past. As you may know amoxicillin is a penicillin-based medication and therefore could be dangerous for this patient. You should then provide the doctor with an alternative medication including the correct dose and frequency for the patient to successfully pass the exam. Be ready to then communicate this conversation with the doctor back to the patient in role play. Discuss what did the doctor say and will you be dispensing the prescription today? If you will not be dispensing the original script what medication will you be giving and at what dose? If you haven't already watched our video on how to correctly counsel patients on their medications we recommend you go watch that next. The best way to pass the exam is to keep practicing. You can do this by watching our oral exam prep series on YouTube as well as serving a wide range of customers in your pharmacy. The more you practice the better you'll become. Part C of the Pharmacy Oral Exam challenges candidates to tackle real-world problems related to medication and patient care. By effectively communicating, actively listening, and demonstrating proficiency in decision-making, candidates can achieve satisfactory patient outcomes while showcasing their expertise in the field of pharmacy. If you liked this video don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends. Also let us know in the comments below what you'd like to see next.